Well, some of our heirloom vegetable varieties are finally coming into production. And if you'll remember, an heirloom variety is designated so if it's an open pollinated variety, not a hybrid, and if it was introduced or has history of being introduced prior to 1940s. And the reason that particular year is chosen is because that's a time when hybrid type varieties started coming into existence or at least being released. Now the squash, we have four varieties here behind me and I want to go over each of the varieties and I'm going to have to use my notes here because there's some pretty strange names and that's been a lot of the fun of growing these heirlooms is because there's so many strange things from different countries even that we're trying in our garden. Now the first one I want to show you here in the basket is called Zucchetta rampicante and it's referred to as trombone or trombocino squash and you can see it kind of gets that name from the shape. It's a lime color and the vine is actually very aggressive and we had to trellis it and it grows a little better if you can trellis it and let these squash hang off. Now there's really not much history given in the records but it's a zucchini like fruit that is best harvested at between 12 and 15 inches. It's uh, got this S shape and really the best time to pick it is a little bit smaller before it sizes up and then one of the neat things about this cultivar is that uh, when you boil it or steam it, it doesn't become watery as much as some of the other zucchinis and it takes about 58 days for it to really come into production. Now our second cultivar is a familiar looking plant. It's the zucchini type growth habit and it is a Ronde Denisi zucchini. But the interesting thing about this zucchini is that it's round and we have some here that are really about the optimum size to pick. It's recommended that they're picked uh, about five inches in diameter, but I actually like them smaller like this right as they're becoming pollinated and they can steam and you can just steam the whole plant or the whole vegetable, excuse me, versus slicing it up. Now the history in this one is it's from France and Italy. Uh, it will actually bruise very easily, especially when it's younger, so you want to be careful. And again, it's eaten, uh, steamed, or raw, or just about however you can come up with your imagination on using zucchini. Now the next uh, variety over is a little bit more familiar in shape, but the color's a little bit different. It's a, almost a variegated color. It has the lines of darker and green, dark and lighter green on the zucchini. And this particular variety is called Zucchini Cocazelle, and it's a bush type. It's a little bit smaller plant, although we have about two to three plants per each of our mounds. Again, it's a 45-day cultivar. Uh, this one particular company that we got it from has listed the variety and sold it for over 40 years just because of its flavor. It's not quite as strong as some zucchini. And again, if you'll pick them a little bit smaller, uh, they're real tasty as a steamed vegetable. Now the last one I want to show you is 65 day variety and so it's just now blooming and coming into production. A lot of our earlier flowers dropped off because they were the uh, male flowers. So we're just now seeing some of the female flowers start and this one is called Laginaria or Laginaria longissima and it's an Italian heirloom and it's going to be one that gets real big and long, similar to the trombone, not quite as curved, but it's one that you want to pick a little bit earlier before it gets too mature again, so you'll get the optimum flavor. And it too, like the trombone, is best grown in a trellis so you can support the vine. So these are all squash related, and anytime you've grown zucchini, I'm sure you know that they're very prolific.